Hello and welcome to this AutoCAD tutorial for AutoCAD 2017. In this video we're going to look at some more basic uh, drawing uh, shapes. In this video we're going to be looking at drawing circles. So as usual when you start up AutoCAD 2017 you'll be welcomed by the start page. If we go to templates here and click on templates uh, we can open a new drawing which is this one here. So we've got the ACAD ISO named plot styles. So what we're going to be looking at today as we've said is circles and how to draw them. Now if we look at the uh, ribbon here we can see that we've got numerous options on how to create circles. Uh, we've got center radius, center diameter, two point, three point, tan tan radius and tan tan tan. So we'll be looking at all six of these through the course of the video. So let's make a start. So what I'm going to do to start with, I'm going to just zoom all and that will take me to the limits of the drawing. So this is where I can, uh, this is what it's currently set up, set up as the limits of the drawing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw uh, just a few lines to get started to act as reference points. So I'm going to draw a line here and this line is going to be 100 mil long and then coming across 75 and then coming down by 150. So these are just purely going to act as reference points as we draw our circles so you can see how the circle's behaving and what it's doing as we start drawing it. Now just to introduce uh, again something a little bit new as well down here we've got the object snap button and the object snap button uh, gives us a number of options so it's currently turned off which is why it's greyed out but if we uh, click that down arrow just next to it we've got all these different options that we can have uh, as object snaps so what I'm going to select for the time being is just end point so this means now when I start drawing my circles uh, I can automatically snap to the end points of these lines that I've created which is uh, obviously very helpful uh, we'll be looking a little bit more about object snaps uh, in later videos uh, so we'll just use one or two as we go along notice as well that there's a shortcut key for this F3 will turn your object snap on and off so now it's off so I can't snap to these things when I start drawing circles push F3 again and the object snap is back on so let's make a start let's look at uh, center radius now what we're going to do first of all is just look at a random position an arbitrary position so if I uh, click a start point here I can then drag out my circle to whatever radius I want. I can enter a value for the radius to determine how big it will be, or I can just click a point. So by doing that, we've created a circle. So we'll just take this off the page so it's not uh, uh, causing any confusion. Uh, so that's how we just click with a mouse. If we want to, we can create a circle by clicking a point and then adding a value for the diameter uh, for the radius rather bear in mind at the moment it's set to radius if you look at the command line down here it's telling us to specify the radius of the circle or diameter so if we put in a radius of 20 our circle ends up being that big uh, if we repeat the action and remember just pressing enter or space will automatically select the previous action we can create a new circle uh, in this case we're going to create it by looking at the diameter so I, you can either click here click diameter or if you notice the first letter is uh, in purple so that's the shortcut button so if I press D and then space for enter we're now looking at creating the diameter of the circle so again if I go uh, 40 now that circle will end up exactly the same size as that one because we di specified a radius of 20 mil on that one and a diameter of 40 mil on this one so obviously they've ended up being the same size so that's how we do it if we just want to create arbitrary circles uh, we can also when we do this we can uh, create a circle clicking on the end point notice the little green box that appears around there and if you leave your mouse there it'll uh, show that we're looking at an end point and again that will become more relevant as we look at other types of object snap because sometimes you might have two or three in very close proximity uh, and there's a way of uh, selecting the one that you want but we'll, we'll talk about that in a future video so if I want to make a circle that is the same has the same radius as this line here uh, then I just click there for my center point and then extend my radius out to this point uh, for my end point there so just to illustrate now what happens if we create this as a diameter instead if we click the uh, expand button there 
and then select this one center diameter if we select the same center as we had before which is the end point of this uh, line here we can now extend this out and notice if I click there I've actually got a much smaller circle this time that's because the distance from here to here is actually the diameter of my circle so if I want that circle to have the same diameter as this circle I already created then I would need to go twice that distance so the length the distance that you move your mouse uh, pointer uh, basically determines the diameter of the uh, circle that you're creating so if I select there I've created a much smaller circle so again we'll just delete those so that they're not getting in the way next on our list is the two-point circle so the two-point circle notice that we've got the points there that are on the opposite diameters of the circle on opposite sides of the circle across the diameter so if we select that as our first end point of the circle notice now we haven't specified the center of the circle we've now specified uh, one side of the circle and in order to get this circle to where we want it to be uh, we then choose the end point for it which will uh, be uh, opposite it across the diameter so if I select there we create a circle that has the exact same width as that line going from one side to the other there which we've created quite nicely next on the list is the three point circle so this acts in exactly the same way as the two point but what we do now is we pick any three points now we could pick these arbitrarily we could pick them randomly so we could go one two and then pick our third point and what's not immediately obvious here is that this circle passes through the three points that I selected and uh, any circle that you create in this fashion will do that so let's just repeat this using our uh, points that we've got set up here so if I make this my first point and this my second point notice that wherever I move my cursor the circle is always going through those two points that I've selected the circle becomes very large after a point uh, and disappears completely there because what we're trying to do is impossible we're trying to create uh, a circle uh, with uh, effectively an infinite diameter but if we want to uh, our circle to pass through this point also we simply select there and you can see that the circle passes through the three points that we selected so that is the three point circle moving on now to look at the next one down we've got tan tan radius so we've got tan tan radius so what I'm going to do actually just before I start drawing this line I'm just going to delete these two circles uh, because um, again it's going to get a little bit confusing I'll just tidy this up as well so if I go tan tan radius then I'm sure you remember uh, that a tangent line uh, is a line that only touches a circle once so just to illustrate this point if I draw a circle so if I select a circle here and I draw it somewhere like that uh, what you'll see is that the circle is actually where it crosses over this line the line cuts through the circle and touches it in two places so that is not a tangent line a tangent line is where if I was to move this circle over it would be the point where this line only just touches the circle in one position right on its very edge uh, right there so that would be a tangent line so when we talk about creating a circle using the tan tan radius method what we're doing is we're selecting uh, a point to be the first uh, tangent so if you look in the command line it says specify point on object for first tangent of circle so I want my circle to be tangent to this line and to this line so if I select this line first and then I select this line and again always look to the command line because it's always telling you what to do next so it's specify uh, point on object for second tangent of circle so this is going to be my second uh, tangent point and then we're looking for the radius of the circle so I'm going to type in 50 mil and what it's doing is it's created a circle that is tangent to this line it's tangent to this line you can see there it's only touching it once and however far we zoom in it will always only be touching it once and the same up here however far we zoom in it's only going to be touching it in one position uh, and it's created a, a circle with a radius of 50 mil that is tangent to this line and tangent to this line 
So that's what we mean by tan tan radius. Now we can go one step further and we can use the tan 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 method. And using this, it's exactly what it sounds like. We basically select uh, three things that we want the circle to be tangent to. So in this case, we're going to have it tangent to this line, tangent to this line, and tangent to this line. And now we've created a circle that is tangent to all three of those lines. So those are the methods for producing circles. I uh, hope this has been helpful. As always, if you have any comments or feedback, please let me know. Thank you very much. Goodbye.